Hi everyone. Uh, you may have seen that Garmin is down. They would seem to be the victim of a ransomware attack. It's not official yet, but that would seem to be what's going on. It could take some time before these servers come back online and that's going to cause a lot of problems for those of us who download our Garmin's but not only through Garmin Connect, but we'd like to see that information on Strava so we can analyze the data held within each activity. But don't worry, because there is another way you can get your information off your Garmin device and into Strava. I'm going to show you how to do that right now on the computer. First thing you need to do is get the cable that came with your Garmin device and plug it directly into your PC. After a few moments, and it recognizes the device, uh, if you go into your Explorer window here, you'll see that it recognizes the device. In my case, it's the Garmin Vivo Active 3. If you click on that, whichever your device is, you'll get this navigation tree here. If you click on Garmin, that opens that up, and you have a long list of folders. The one you're interested in is the one called Activity. You click on that, and these files here are all the activities stored inside your Garmin device. The one that I'm in, going to be uploading today is the one dated the 21st of the 7th. That's my most recent one, and, and that's the one I'm going to use there. So. What we need to do next is go into your Strava account, log in, and then at the top you have the plus sign, and then as that pops out, you have an option that says upload activity. I'm gonna click on that, okay? And make sure you have files selected over here, and which gives you the option to choose files. If you click on that, it'll open up the file dialog box, and that's the same file structure that we saw in Explorer before. But just to remind you, if you go to Garmin, Vivo Active 3 in my case, and then the Garmin folder, activity folder, and then the one that I'm interested in, 21st of the 7th. I'm going to select that one so it's highlighted and collect, uh, select open. That then opens up this page here and it's the basic information. So for me, in my case, it was a walk. You can, read, you can give it your name, you can um, give it a description, all the things you might normally do. In fact, this is the process that Garmin would automate anyway when you automatically you know, sync up to Strava. But once you've got all the information in, you would simply press save and view. And there it is there. There's the, the activity as you would normally see. And it's as simple as that. So I hope it helps you. All is not lost. You can still get your information off your Garmin device and into Strava. So now you can go through all your data and see what's what. Thanks very much for watching. If you've got any friends who are Garmin users and they're panicking a little bit as well, share this video with them and hopefully Garmin will be back up sooner rather than later and we'll get back to normal. So thanks very much for watching. See you next time.